what is your change you're trying to make? What is your main focus? I'm sure a lot of us have multiple areas um, at this point in time, but kind of like what's the one direction? For me personally, um, if I had to pick a single thing that I would, I would focus on, it'd be water at the moment just because that's a basic human right and people don't have that still. <laughs> I'm teaming up with The Thirst Project to give clean water to those that have none. The Thirst Project is the world's largest youth water organization. Every year they bring clean water to tens of thousands of people around the world. I want us to be a part of that. That would be the, the one thing, but as a person, like, I can't just, you know, I, Los Angeles has its own water problems, but I can't just, like, you know, 100% full speed think about how do I fix this water problem every day. I have to be actively doing that. And if you're just thinking about how to solve the problem, you're not actively solving the problem. So I'm kind of finding that balance of how can I go out and create action and do things and then raise awareness and at the same time kind of, you know, bring attention to what needs attention. And as an influencer, whatever you want to call it, that's kind of where I've been leaning. Has there been like a, a specific moment in, in the change that you've been making that impacted you the most or that, that sticks out to you? Has there been like a person or a trip or an experience that, that you're like, I will never forget this moment or this is the reason why I do what I do? There's been certain moments and things. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, like I said earlier, there's, I, don't, I don't think I have any big moments in my life where I'm just kind of like, boom, today's the day and <laughs> shedded my old skin. Um, <laughs> No, but I've, there's definitely those moments, and I, I've had a few of them. None of them are, are that cataclysmic, though. They're all kind of small, but one that sticks out is uh, when I went to Cape Town, They've, I think they're still in it. They've had this thing called Day Zero coming forever, and it's like we're going to run out of water on this day. And the entire 10 days that we were in Cape Town, like showering, um, you get you put your soap on first, and then you turn the shower, and you get like 15 seconds of water. Um, and then you don't flush unless it's like, you know, a monster <laughs> and you got to use hand sanitizer. Um, but these are just like little things and, and you're just seeing like everyone take every single drop of water for granted. Um, and, and they've lost, you know, a lot of that water since then and this day zero is still coming, but watching like an entire society come together and reduce, you know, the water intake that they're using by like more than a hundred percent was insane. And then to go back and like, you just see us like pressure washing like you know fences and, and stupid <laughs> shit, and we're just like okay well <laughs> was that necessary <laughs> like that, that was your fence water, that right? dirty when yeah. i saw like how much they valued every single drop of water though really like maybe question everything and mm -hmm. I, there was a commercial growing up i saw about turn the sink off when you brush your teeth or something like that mm -hmm. and it's like those little things make a huge difference mm -hmm. um so i think it was probably just saving water in, in weird different ways nash i have a question for you you um are going to be a father. Yeah. Has that already affected your outlook on the world and, and things that you feel like need to change? Or do you think that's something that's gonna come once you're actually, yeah. <laughs> once your kid is actually here? I think it, it's evolving. So like yeah. it, it, it's changed since yesterday and it's gonna change tomorrow. Um, it definitely changed since I heard the news. <laughs> um, but and it's probably gonna change once uh, he's here, we're having a boy. Um, but yeah, I, 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 yeah, thank you. But um, I don't know. It wasn't like a, oh, I have a kid coming now. I need to fix all the problems in the world yeah. type of deal. But I was already kind of anxious for that and, and scared for that. Not for the kid part, but for it's a you know it's a scary time in the world um, in a lot of places. Fortunately, it's not as scary in Los Angeles as it is in some other places. But it's still a scary world. So like all things considered, I had that in the back of my head always. But you know like you said balance and and every day you pick and choose and your your battles and um even getting in the car i was like we were just talking about places to live me and taylor my fiance we were like where where do we want to go what do we even want to do we want to stay around los angeles and stuff and i'm like i don't even want to drive out here with a kid because like yeah. I'm, i don't even want to drive myself out here i'm like you know i have this theory that everybody's mad because they're sitting in traffic all day every day <laughs> um, two great things you you donated you had a lot of hair and you donated it to a charity you you're vegan so you clearly care about um either animals or the environment or both it's weird because i've been vegan for a few years now and i wouldn't i wouldn't wish a diet upon anyone like every <laughs> single human being is different i'm not gonna tell you what to eat and what not to eat um because it's, it might not mm -hmm. work for you yeah. it might work better for other people with this blood type and this and that and it's just like why would one thing work for everybody so i definitely like i'm an advocate for veganism but i don't want to force anything on anybody mm -hmm. um if you can help the environment by just what you're eating and what you're not eating more importantly then you know that's why wouldn't you do that so it, since water is the main one i'd switch to food being the, the <laughs> next one mm -hmm. um, and it goes back to food waste because we're the worst with trash waste all of it um, and a lot of these places that we call third world countries, they've already figured out how to solve their problems. We just kind of need to like help them 
with their solutions. Like we go in to somewhere or we've gone somewhere and we don't really invoke the right change or do the right things because we're not from there. We don't know what to, mm-hmm. to do or to solve. And nine times out of 10, we just need to get behind the people that know how to, to fix it. Again, we have a lot of young people that are watching. In just a, a sentence or two, what would you say to a young person who has been inspired watching this or has been inspired mm-hmm. watching um, or just being on Twitter and being exposed to how many things need changing? What would you, what kind of advice could you give them? I feel like you have to be comfortable with yourself before you can go and fight for anything, really. Like, you have to understand it. You have to you know, learn, mm-hmm. be educated. And that's step one, like educate yourself. If you're unsure of something or if there's an issue or something happening, educate yourself. That can't hurt you in any way, shape or form. So, so just do that. And if you're a young person, if you're an old person, you're coexisting, whether you're ignorant to this, you know, person or their way of life or to this entire community, whatever it is, you guys are here at the same time. So you might as well at least acknowledge everyone, you know what I mean? And, and acknowledge your place and then when you do that you, you can go okay like you said now I've, I've, I acknowledge my privileged place as you know this person and this is my race and this is where I was born and this is where I live and this is where I'm from and all this stuff now what can I do with all this you know what I mean um, yeah. and I, I feel like that's what really matters it doesn't matter where you're from or, or what you, your name was when you were born or where you were born or any of this stuff like just if your head is on right and, and you trust yourself to make the right decisions, I feel like good will come. Let those challenges build you up. Same thing with mistakes. Like every mistake you made is an opportunity to make a to learn. To, to learn, to learn. Yeah, yeah. Mistakes yeah. are our greatest teacher. It's mm-hmm. insane. Yeah. So, so yeah, make them and and keep your head up when you do. Yeah. If you liked what you saw, make sure you check out our other videos right here, and also subscribe to the Herdwell channel right here for new interviews coming out every week.